Hello, this is Rainbow Rising Freedom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The message for today and whoever is listening to this is rest. You might be used to taking a lot of action and having a list of tasks to complete. In this moment, a new challenge occurs and it's to rest, to take it slow to give yourself time to sleep things out. There's so much healing and realignment that happens in your sleep that you actually are doing yourself a lot of service, just allowing to chill. It's not something that you might be used to, because many of us are used to having that sense of urgency. Many light beings deeply realize the importance of contributing to the ascension process and they want to do as much as possible. So giving love to yourself, taking time is often put on the back burner. In this moment, there could have been something that you have completed. Um, many of us have been working on closing out familial karma and whether that was successful or not it's not really for us to see from the human standpoint but what i've been feeling for past few months is we're proud of you the ancestors are really proud of you you have completed something closed out a very mm, painful repetitive cycle in your family line coming from those who were hurt the most most probably in the times of war they didn't have the tools to heal themselves they didn't have the awareness and they didn't have the access to what we have now and there you are the magical ingredient in that karma soup that heals it all that changes it all so i encourage you to give yourself some credit and allow yourself to just be less is more you might find yourself feeling more just because you take it slow suddenly many interactions happen because you're not rushing complete anything you're not racing from a to b you allow things to come to you and unexpectedly miracles happen the right connections happen the being at the right time at the right place happens because you didn't know where you're going and you just decided to go with the flow There's a whole legion of ancestors that walks with us and I feel like we are held. What I'm getting also recently is number nine, which to me is support and completion and also free one free, which is all about allowing yourself to transform getting out of the habit of being you there is a brand new you and flying with these wings getting that spiritual license of a pilot is happening right now this is a graduation for many of us um, past year could have been really important when it comes to again diving deeper into a challenge and climbing out of it again for the sake of raising the vibration for the whole collective there's a whole load of luck that you're about to receive 
in multiple forms yes is there is definitely receiving because of how you have healed your heart how each challenge you alchemized into learning into spiritual practice into just mastering your craft you might be also feeling the truth of those who were around you and were deceiving you just send them love these are people who really need compassion the most um, i feel like your aura is so powerful and nothing actually touches you because you don't hold a single grudge you don't have a bad intention towards anybody so there is no crack in your aura there is no place where the low vibe can even get to you you might not even be doing anything to repel anything it just naturally happens because you are love and love is such a high vibration that it dissolves all the lowest frequencies so people could be sending whatever they want and it will always bounce back I keep getting the sun in my deck I get double sun and joy and happiness will fill your life and in this moment of rest that's what you're preparing for I feel you're preparing embrace this unbelievably beautiful new chapter that will not require you to jump any hurdles um, it's the chapter of magenta i've been getting signs about magenta status and magenta for me is the color of the soul um, this is where your soul ultimately wants you to be this is um, the fulfillment and the highest expectation This is where you change and evolve, allow yourself to shed these layers of you that um, no longer match with this reality and you will transform into the highest sacred being, your embody as much light as it is possible on this planet while we're in the human body. So I see you filling yourself with that light. no longer being bothered no longer being triggered a daily daily routine will be practice and com practicing compassion and love and kindness no matter what so that's another stage where we know ourselves enough to not react to not People who are hurt and weak um, control our emotions. Like we decide how we feel, and each and every escalation gave us an opportunity to master that. If you have failed many times, congratulations, because now you know yourself well enough to be a master. We have sacred death here. The heart is serene. So it was really important last year to give love to all these places where you are feeling strife, pain, injustice. 
So congratulations if you have put in the work to heal these places because people can feel how peaceful you are in your heart at the moment. There is just another level of like not really needing a practice anymore. It's enough that you are. I was feeling, oh, it's really cute of you to do this practice. Um, do the meditation, do this and that, but actually, from the higher standpoint, you do the job when you are. And by having so profoundly healed, you literally are the elevator for other people, other people's ascension, just by bringing in your energy field and being. Getting a coffee together, bumping into each other in the mall, that's the sacred work. And spirit will put you at the right time with the right people, and you will naturally know when to reach out to whom, when you have a healing um, properties, these people might be really sick or they might be telling you stories of grief. That's how you heal them, by listening, by being present with these stories. So that's a great honor to be of service. And I also feel the crown. So many of us will be fully directed into our purpose by so many things falling away. If if the reality is crumbling, let it, because it's just making space for this new design of yours. Because it is a new design. This is a program that you have designed. We have success here. Number six might be significant as well. Someone's life path might be number six. And the soul will provide for you as you walk your path. So you don't have to worry about not having enough. You're beginning an entirely new chapter that is ruled by very different law, very different spiritual law. And what you've been taught and programmed for, for from the beginning of your life will have to fade away. Like the way you were taught to make decisions will not work at this frequency. And you might also be guided to hold hand of those who are stepping out of the old matrix into that new paradigm you might be initially guiding them how to be how to exist in that new paradigm you might be called to open the door for the ones that are coming in and show them how to move around. There is Trinity here. And there is definitely an upgrade to your freedom, I feel. So something has collapsed because this is the time for you to receive um, some sort of... Um, it's a time for you to take your position and only you can take it. It's of high significance and there's justice here. So you have always been meant to take that seat. You could have been pushed away from it. You're finally taking that seat in your throne, I feel. Some of you might be called to write about it, write about your journey with all the obstacles that you encountered it might help the next wave 
the new generation to go smoother through, through the same process, you're definitely called to write a book or express yourself and publish in some way, one or the other, it doesn't have to be a book, it can be singing, it can be dancing, it can be theater, um, any way you can connect with other people. I feel like you are the elevator, the spiritual elevator, and you're taking people higher. You're helping them ascend. You are the catalyst of their awakening. And your ancestors are proud. of how you have grown. I hear that's my human right there. They're watching above you and you are their, you are their gift. And also they are ready to grant you their gifts they are ready to pass on their gifts so you can ask to download all these skills and abilities that they that your ancestors are willing to pass on to you so that you can be of highest service here so many people do need that so many people are walking away from what just doesn't feel right There are many beings that will answer the call of their heart and they will just walk away from all the facade, from the mask, from the game. They will find the courage. you might find yourself like being kind of people's fuel their inspiration to keep going to trust these changes number 18 is significant here spirits brought me here I feel so they might be um, redirected to be in a different place, in different position, different work environment, somewhere where you might feel that you don't fit in. That's exactly where you're supposed to be. You bring in something else. You bring in the challenge. You bring in higher frequency in a place that needs it most. It's up to you if you answer that call, if you answer that challenge, or you prefer to just take it easy. And there's a change coming that won't be delayed any longer. It's just written and angels are asking you to please do not hesitate and call on them whenever you need them, day or night. They are there for you, but you need to ask for whatever you need in this moment. And if something's pushing you out, it means it's time to go. Don't resist it. Just flow. You're getting a divine redirection if something's getting unpleasant. You have the strength of a lion. I hear mane. I'm not sure if this is a state, but definitely you have the strength here. And the strength is in being being gentle and soft, actually, and not necessarily being... Um, pushing. Let's pull um, How to Love Yourself card from Louise Haydeck of 64 Affirmations. Okay.
I affirm that I am totally willing to freely forgive everyone. I release from within me all bitterness and resentment. I let go of old hurts and forgive everyone, including myself. I want to close with that and I'll speak to you soon. Have a blessed day or blessed night wherever you are. Take care now.